Greetings friends. This is Survival Doc. Today I'm coming to you from down here in my bunker where I'm getting ready for the fallout of our current economic and political entanglements. At my website I have a chapter called Survival Planning on a Budget where I discuss ways to save money so that you can afford to buy the supplies you need for your survival stockpile. In this video I will discuss one important way to save money by taking advantage of my favorite form of long-term food storage. And that's why I'm down here in my basement where I keep my canned goods. Canned foods are relatively heavy, so they may not be the best choice for your bug out bag. But that's not a disadvantage for your home storage because you probably won't be hauling it around anyway. Canned foods are heavy because they contain a lot of water. But that can be an advantage because the extra source of water may come in handy during an emergency if clean water is in short supply. Cooking is always a part of the canning process because the foods must be sterilized by heat. So all canned foods are already cooked and most foods can be eaten right out of the can. A big advantage during a disaster when energy for cooking may be in short supply or non-existent. Canned foods also come in very convenient sizes. One can contains enough food generally for one meal so there are no concerns about refrigeration of leftovers. But the greatest advantage of canned foods is that they are inexpensive, especially when compared with other forms of long-term food storage like freeze-dried foods. Of course, with any form of food storage, shelf life is a consideration. Therefore, it is absolutely essential that you rotate the food that you have in long-term storage. That's why it is important to buy only what you eat and to eat what you buy. If you buy the food you like, then you will have no problem using the food you have in storage. But it is critically important that you rotate all of your foods, always using the oldest first. Whenever you buy a new can of food, you must put it all the way back, moving the others to the front, putting the new food all the way in the back. Then when you take a can from your shelf, you always take a can from the front that way, you're always using the oldest first. Whenever I buy canned foods, I always check the best if used by date. And I write the year on the front of the can. And this helps me when I'm rearranging my cans or moving them around to keep the oldest in the front. That way I don't have to worry about reading the fine print on every single can. And while I'm talking about the best if used by date, realize that you can eat canned foods long after the date has expired. It is true that there is some loss in the quality of the food, perhaps in flavor, perhaps in texture, perhaps in vitamins. However, the food won't poison you just because it's past the best if used by date. However, never use food from a can that is bulging. Don't even taste it. As you know, canned foods also come in glass containers. And if you garden, you probably put your, some of your excess produce away in glass jars just like this one. There are a couple of disadvantages to glass jars. The obvious one is that they break easily. If you have an earthquake, you could lose much of your food storage if it is in glass jars. That is why it's important to protect the glass from breakage. The best way to do that is to put the jars back in the box that the jars came in and leave the partitions in the jar to protect the jars from banging against each other. The other disadvantage to glass is that it allows light to pass through and light does speed up the deterioration of foods. This is not a problem if you keep your jars in boxes. This may be a problem for other foods, like this ketchup, which comes in a plastic container that I'm not worried about breaking, but light will pass through the clear container. This problem is solved very simply by keeping the container in a glass, I mean in a brown bag. Remember, store what you eat and eat what you store, and above all, don't forget to rotate all of your foods, always using the oldest first. This is Survival Doc, reminding you 
be prepared or be prepared to be fleeced. <laughs>